right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Music Village. And three things about that video game story, folks. One, my high score, which I forgot to mention, was well over the 100,000 points during that said video game story. That's the only number I actually remembered, the reason why we didn't mention it during the story. Secondly, yeah, the fact that there's a sequel lurking about according to the maestro that's available on eBay kind of upsets me and I want it. And thirdly of all, the fact that I couldn't pull off a nasty tiger knee to any of those flaming skulls that gave me crap along with that freaking chandelier really upsets me now more as an adult than I was as a kid. You know, because that chandelier sucks. You know, screw that chandelier. As a matter of fact, Maestro, I don't even want you mentioning the word chandelier in my presence after that video game story and thanks to that game. Yeah, really had a strong hate for chandeliers for years on end because of that. But besides my hatred for chandeliers and I guess hanging objects with lights on it, that's what we're going to call it now. I think it's time for us to go into one of my favorite parts of the show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the indie for the weekend, which is me giving you guys local content information from local artists who forming in a local area live near you. And we kick things off with Friday, November 20th. And the first band that we have up is Kenny Carrico, who's going to be performing at the Sweetwater Tiki Bar in Hamilton, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Nancy Malkoon is going to be performing at the Naughty Spirits Distillery in Cape May, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Kicking Sunrise is going to be performing at the KS Acoustic Sky Cafe Ocean Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Gerald Espinito is going to be performing at the Villa Vittoria Restaurante in Brick, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Fast Forward 80s, Cassidy, Ken Mason, and Paul Hearney, along with one other band yet to be announced, is all going to be performing at the Orange Lantern in Paramus, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., you can also see Stephanie Rempo, who's going to be performing at the Woodland in Maplewood, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., and to finally wrap it up for Friday night, you can see Phantom Lord, who's going to be performing at the Brighton Bar in Long Branch, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And apparently we have one more band yet to be mentioned according to the My Show, which is Dave Bandinelli, who's going to be performing at the Great Notch Inn in Woodland Park, New Jersey at 9 p.m. And on Saturday, November 21st, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live. House of Gunther, Jeff Gunther and Jeff Gunther's Retrofit. It's all going to be performing at the vendors of the Hopakon Marketplace in Hopakon, New Jersey. At 11 a.m., Anchor. It's going to be performing at the Old York Cellars in East Emwell Township, New Jersey. At 12 p.m., Nikki Espafoni is going to be performing at the White Horse Winery in Hamilton, New Jersey. At 2 p.m., you can also see James Popick. Nice band name, who's going to be performing at the Shad Fest in Lambertville, New Jersey. At 5 p.m., the Book of the Month Club is going to be performing at the Bloomfield Steak and Seafood House in Bloomfield, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Nancy Malcoon is going to be performing at the Eastland Golf Course and the Green View Inn in Vineland, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., the Evil Twin Acoustic Duo 
is going to be performing at the Main Brook Tavern in Menaplan, New Jersey at 6 p.m. And Miss Sonaro and Chris Palmieri is going to be performing at the Ramsey Tap Room and Grill in Ramsey, New Jersey at 7 p.m. Frankie Valley is going to be performing at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Saturday night, you can see Rock Candy the 80s Experience, who's going to be performing at the Rail at Reddington in White House Station, New Jersey at 9 p.m. And on Sunday, November 22nd, you can see these following bands performing in a local area live near you. DJ K-Rock is going to be performing at the Ironbound Film and TV Studios in Newark, New Jersey at 12 p.m. Paul Levinston is going to be performing at the PhilCon in Cherry Hill, New Jersey at 1 p.m. Ziggy Isaacs is going to be performing at the NJ Meatman Joint in Trenton, New Jersey at 2 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Sunday night, you can see Frankie Valli, who's going to be performing at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark, New Jersey at 7 p.m. And on Monday, November 23rd, a certain someone's birthday, my show has a small hint again, you can see these following bands performing in a local area live near you. Margie Zinn, nice band name, It's going to be performing at the Facebook live stream Mondays with Margie in your city, New York, at 4 p.m. LaRue. Nice band name again. It's going to be performing at the studio at Webster Hall in New York, New York at 8 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Monday night and all the bands we're going to mention for this week, you can see stand-up comedy who's going to be performing at the Broadway Comedy Club in New York City, New York at 9 p.m. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast, and trust me, folks, there were a lot of them, you can head on over to ReverbNation.com to check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast. And like I say at the end of all of these skits, go out there, support your local artists, and see these guys perform live. And trust me. They'll love you for it. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back to this music and continue to listen to these diamonds in the rough. Only here, right here, on Music Village. So don't wear your horns out in traffic or get lost in it in the process just yet, folks. And stay tuned. 